Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some items that I've picked up from the thrift store lately. I've got some really good ones here so I'm very excited to share them with you guys. If you're new here, I'm Noelle. I make new videos every single week on home decor, DIY home decor, and making your home look high-end on a budget. So if you like those kinds of videos, then hit the subscribe button and stick around. If you guys like these haul videos, then give this video a thumbs up so that I know to keep making them for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so this first item that I picked up I've been looking for something like this. So a really good like framed vintage looking art piece. And I thought that this one was a really great find. It was only $8. So for something this size, I thought it was really great. And the color palette just goes really well with the color palette in the office. I currently have it styled on the built-ins. So it's pulling from like the blue tones that are in the built-ins and the golds with the yellows and stuff too. So I really like this this picture frame. So that is one that I picked up. I also, this one I think is really funny, but I thought it would be really fun to style in the office. So I actually styled with this in um, my built-in makeover but I don't think that you guys could see it super well so it's just this like wood carving of a man's head and face and I just thought that it was really funny and fun to style with so it was actually two thirty two two dollars and thirty two cents at Goodwill um but I thought that it was just a really cool like unique little fun piece to do some styling with so I kind of like to throw in a little bit of quirky things into my style as well just for fun. Okay, this, so I actually found this fabric at Goodwill and made it into this pillow. So I didn't get a chance to show it to you guys before I made the pillow because I was very excited about it. So this pillow was made from fabric that I found at Goodwill and I made two of them to go on the chairs in my living room and I just thought it was such a cool fabric definitely always go and check out the fabric in your thrift store or Goodwill wherever you are because you can find some really awesome deals this was like a dollar 25 for really good like this is upholstery fabric so perfect for making pillows and was just a really really awesome find I thought so Definitely check out the fabric. This piece, I found this vase whenever I was visiting a friend in Arizona, and it was $5.49. So I thought that this looked a lot like, um, like the almost like bleach looking wood tone. Um, vases that I've been seeing. I saw some in Target with the threshold line um, and I've seen some at like Pottery Barn and things like that as well that are a little more higher end. So I originally bought this thinking that I was going to sand it down and make it look kind of like that. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. But I don't know if I will or not because I've had it styled just like this on the built-ins on a stack of books and I think that it's looked really good so I don't know let me know what you guys think I should do in the comments below if I should leave it how it is or if you think I should sand it down and bleach it so that it's a really nice lighter wood tone so let me know what you guys think but I thought for $5.49 it was worth <laughs> picking it up and deciding what I was going to do with it later so awesome find <clears throat> okay so I went to the thrift store yesterday and picked these guys up and I was so excited when I found them so it's a set of three baskets and I've been looking for something like this because I am really wanting to create a pendant basket light 
So, this is definitely going to be something that's going to be coming up in a thrift flip video soon. So, keep your eyes out because I'm definitely going to be making something awesome out of this. So, keep your eyes out for that video. It'll be coming out pretty soon. So, this was an awesome find. It was $10 for the set of three baskets and it came with lids too. So, I thought that that was a really awesome find for $10. I never find basket sets like this. I always find like baskets that are just by themselves and never in a set. So this is perfect for something like a pendant light. So I was very excited to find that piece. This piece also I picked up and I know it doesn't look like much of anything, but it was $3 and I had a really awesome idea. I got inspired. So this piece is also going to be coming up in a thrift flip video that I'm going to do soon. So I thought for $3 I could try to do something with it and if it didn't work out then it's just $3. So I decided to pick it up and hopefully I can make my idea come to life and it'll look so awesome. So definitely keep your eyes out for that thrift flip video that's coming out soon. <coughs> I also, okay, so the other day, Studio McGee, or McGee & Co., they put out their, like, holiday collection, so I was scrolling through, looking through to see, get some inspiration and ideas, and they had this beautiful wreath for Christmas, and I really wanted to make it, so... I just kind of tucked that away because it's not anywhere near Christmas. I'm not making anything for Christmas right now. But I was at the thrift store and I almost missed this really awesome, I think it's called a grapevine wreath. I think that's what they're called. But it was only $9 and for something this size, I thought that was so, so good. Like I can't even put it all in the frame. But this was such an awesome find and it's going to be really a really good base for making wreaths for Christmas time. You could also do it for um, any time of year really. Just don't glue your pieces down to it and then you can just um, switch them out for the season. So I thought that that was a really awesome find for $9. So definitely had to pick that guy up. And... Okay, this next piece, I got inspired, sorry it's in this paper bag, because I saw this in a local thrift store maybe three weeks ago and really loved it, but it's like, I don't have anywhere to put this, so I didn't get it, but I really liked it, and then I saw on Pinterest this photograph, I'll insert it here. But I was so inspired, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go back and see if this is still there. So it is this vintage schoolhouse light and I thought it was the coolest piece and was just so fun. So I'm gonna be putting this in my son's playroom so it's going to be really awesome and just really fit the whole vibe of that room. So keep a lookout for that video because I'm going to be doing a playroom makeover very soon. I'm just gathering up all the pieces that I need for it now. So this is definitely going to be featured in that video. And it was $18. $18. So for a light fixture like this, that is really, really awesome because... I looked some up after I saw this one in the store and they had them like starting at like $80. So for 18, I think that's a steal. So I'm very excited to style this and put it in to the playroom makeover. So keep your eyes out for that. So this is the last piece that I'll share with you guys. It's a little bit bigger, but it's this wicker. I don't know if you guys can see this wicker hamper, but 
I thought that the coloring on it was so cool and just really fit the whole feel of our house. So I originally thought that I could put it in the playroom and put some toys and stuff in it because it's just a really good size and it has a lid so it'll be covered and closed off but it's a little more fragile than I thought it was so my oldest son has already kind of started breaking it a little bit so I don't think I'm going to put it in the playroom but I think I can style it in my living room and hide toys away in it too. So that's a tip if you have kids is get big baskets like this or like this is a wicker hamper. But this is something really great that you can store toys and stuff in or if you don't have kids you can store just unsightly items that you need to have in your living room whether that's like electronics or like your router you could hide away in here and nobody would ever know so this was $15 at the thrift store so I thought it was a really great deal to go ahead and pick it up because I have a really hard time finding baskets that have lids on them so most of the ones that I find are open so then you can see all of the things that are inside of it but this one had a lid so I definitely had to pick that up to hide any of the unsightly things that I have in my home that are also necessary to have. So here is just a better look at it. It's pretty tall. I would say it's about like a foot and a half tall. So it's a pretty good size basket. But that is the last item that I have to share with you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you are inspired to go and thrift yourself. And don't forget to go and look for fabric in your thrift store and keep your eyes peeled for items that you can flip and change into something else like I'm going to do with these baskets. So definitely keep an eye out for that thrift flip video that's going to be coming out very soon and for the playroom makeover also, which I'll be sharing some sneak peeks of that over on my Instagram. So you guys should definitely go and follow me there so that you can get some behind the scenes of the projects that I'm working on. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did so that I know that you guys want to keep seeing these thrift haul videos. So that's all I've got for you guys today and I'll see you in the next one.